YouTube. It's Kaiga1234. Up here today with a console review. Now I use the term console very, very lightly. It's not a PS4. Um, today we're reviewing the PXP3 Slim Station 16-bit digital pocket system MD2700. Now, straight off the bat, looking at this thing, what is it? This is obviously a knockoff con, so it really is. I mean, looking at this packaging, I mean, you'd never get away with this as a thing. Look, you've got Spider-Man on there, freaking fit, Crash Bandicoot, Dragon Ball Z, FIFA, you know, all these pictures, which, by the way, none of that stuff is in the game. There's no Crash Bandicoot games on here or anything like that. But... We're going to take a little bit of a look at this thing today and come to a conclusion whether this thing is a knockoff piece of crap or it does have some redeeming qualities. Now, as we can see, 900,000 games? No. Um, that's not true. This game does not have 900,000 games. But let's open it up and have a look at the actual thing. Um, I'll try and show you some of the games on here. We can go through the game list. As you can see, it comes with your AC adapter, which is great because um, something like this normally would take batteries, but this one comes with an AC adapter. And from what I've seen, it does charge pr um, pretty well. So you get that. You also get an AV cable, which you can plug into your TV. But the only thing is, the AV cable is extremely short. So you'd literally have, this would probably be something you plug into a little TV like that and be right next to it. I might plug it in and show you guys on the TV what it looked like. Um, but it's extremely short. So that is a big issue there. Um, that is a big issue there. Um, and it's really small and it has the headphone jack size one. So... Yeah, I think this goes into where the headphone jack goes. I'm not sure. Like I said, if I have the time, I might set it up on the key and show you. And then, of course, we have the console itself. It comes in a little pack. Even though it's a red box, my version I have here is a blue one. And, of course, the game cartridge, which says 900,000 in what? Well, 90,000 in one. That's not true. Um... On this cartridge, you get an extra 50 or so games, and then it just repeats itself in the list. If you turn up on without the cartridge, and you get about 200 or so games. So you're getting a good deal with that. Now, what sort of games are on here? You'll get, you'll have a lot of. It's got a lot of NES, uh, Famicom, and Sega games on here, and even some um, mix match of games. So you get a nice selection. Now, here's the actual thing itself. As you can see. It does look exactly like a PSP. These buttons don't work. Up there you have your headphone, um, your charger port, the cartridge slot. Um, I don't know where you can get any of these. I reckon, I don't know if they made any extra ones of these or not. And of course, yeah, AV slot. That does not open this bit here. And then you've got your buttons here. And of course, yeah those buttons as well and then you've got your reset button your select and start button and you turn it on like so let's turn it on and have a look at some of the games we got on here i might show a full list of the games on both with the cartridge and cartridge out so you turn it on like that and it comes on now you have to turn the you do have to push down quite hard, I will say that. But, um, I, I, you turn the sound up like this, here's the sound. So there's the sound, the sound is okay. So we've got the games on here, this is without the cartridge. Zuma Bubbles, Angry Birds, Streets of Rage, which is pretty good. X-Men, which I believe is X-Men 2 The Clone Wars. Twinkle Tail. Tiny Toon Acme, Ninja Turtles, which I believe is Turtles in Time there, Strider 2, Smurfs, Raiden Trad, Sonic 3D Blast, 
Super Skid Marks, Sonic and Knuckles, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Revenge of Shinobi, Tekken Special 3, Rai Star, Cannon Fodder, Psycho Pinball, it says Fristado, but that's Woody Woodpecker, Fun Car Rally, Echo the Dolphin, Team Dream USA, Jacksos, Desert Strike, Cosmic Speecher, some weird name there, Man Overboard, Elevento, so a lot of these games are um, knockoff games or just change the name of a game, Mean Bean Machine, Batman Revenge of the Joker, Ghouls and Ghosts, which is a pretty good one on there, Forgotten World, Wrestling Guide, some of these are original, some of them are copies of course, Ghostbusters, um, I think it's the Sega Mega Drive um, version of the game, Dick Tracy, Devil's Cashman, I think that's a Turbo Graphics game, The Cap Attack, Dart, some weird game there, Crackdown, Captain Planet, California Games, Kadash, Ryuji Bowling, Bikini Run, Bible Adventures, Battle Toads, Battle Mania, Bad Omen, Batman, Atomic Robo Kid, Arc Rivals, Air Buster, DJ Boy, Golden Axe, Grand Slam Tennis, Heavy Unit, Herzog's Vi, Game Ground, Dino Land, Monopoly, Mario Hockey, which I don't believe is Mario, Marble Madness, Magic Girl, Burning Force, Fairy Tale Adventure, East Swap, Elemental Master, Air Hockey League, Dark Castle, Cyborg Justice, Pyramid Magic, Shove It, Barbie, Little Mermaid, Doraemon, Toy Story, Super Mario Bros, Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball, Sonic Spinball, Gunstar Hero, Strider, Kid Chameleon, Brian Cricket, Beauty and the Beast, Bob, Shinobi 3, Dragon's Revenge, Simpsons, Chuck Around Forever, Adam's Family, Zool, Toys, Swindoff, whatever that is, Sonic the Hedgehog, YY World, Golden Axe 2, Double Dragon 2, some weird thing out, and that's, um, Toki, Spider-Man, Dynamite Duke, Arrow Flash, Kujaki, whatever that is, Battle Master, Bonanza Bros, Crossfire, Altered Beast, Felios, Batman. So, um, yeah, Nemon Hunter, Hellfire, Balloon Boy, Super Battle Tank, Super Battleship, Street Smart, Steel Talion, Jane Pond, and Thunder 4 3, and then the games reset, as you can see. So, turn it off. So, you get, so you're basically getting 119 games without the um, cartridge in and then if you put the cartridge in like so and as you can see there there was quite a few um, games on there that you had Sonic and stuff I'll try and show you some gameplay before the end of this video but I can't guarantee it's gonna be um, good so if you put that in you get Samurai Showdown TP Gear, Batman Returns Thunder Fox, Battletoads Double Dragon, The Terminator, which I think is the CD, I get, uh, the CD game, Blaster Master, Shadow Blaster, Sensible Soccer, Master of Weapons, Torito Kun, Musha, Lakers vs Celtic, Super Funhouse, which is Krusty's Funhouse, Junction, James Bondo, which is actually James Bond, um, I don't know what one that's called, it's the Sega one, The Desert, Inspector X, Spiritual Warfare, um, Roller Capes Rescue, which I, I don't know what that is, Fantastic Dizzy, Final Zone, Air Diver, Alex Kidd, Championship, which I think is RC Revenge, um, not RC, RC Pro-Am, Paddle Fighter, Pyramid Magician, Sonic Eraser, Super Volleyball, Fatal Labyrinth, Exodus, World Cup Soccer, Tetris, Columns, Blockout, Art Alive, Flicky, and yeah, so you get an extra 37 games on there, so as you can see, it's not, you know, thing. so let's just load up one game here, if we just load up 
let's just say Tetris. So select that. It's the Sega Tetris game. And the only thing I'd find with this is that you have to tap the buttons quite hard to play, but it plays. And surprisingly, it runs pretty well, actually. That's, I'm really surprised at how well it actually runs. I'm just going to pause the video and try and set it up in the TV and show you what it looked like on the TV. So give me one Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work on the TV. Now, I don't know if it's the TV or the um, console thing itself, but I have got it to work on the TV downstairs before. So I do know it does work on the TV. And to be honest, it looks pretty good on the TV. I will say that you have to take my word for it on that. It does look pretty good. Now, the only downside I said is that this is really, really small and it's actually quite cheap. When I plugged it into a TV, these actually um, were really, really loose. So that's my downside about this thing is that these, they don't work very well. But you probably, if you probably found um, something with that on the, that side of one on there with the AV on it, it, you probably, it probably might work. So I can't, don't take my word for it, but it might work. Now, now I don't know, I'm, I might try and show off a proper little, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but if I, if I could show it off, I might try and show you a proper gaming thing without actually knocking the camera, because I've got, this is why I can't wait to get my video camera. So I'll show you. Let's just go with Streets of Rage. Proper gameplay. We'll try and at least try and play it properly. So most of these say Sega. So a lot of these games are Sega games, but you do have uh, well, Streets of Rage 3. It is small, but to be honest, it's not the smallest thing. So, like I said, the only thing is you really have to push down. Sometimes you have to push down a little bit harder than others. Other times it works, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe I press start. Okay. Go to one start. So the. So yeah, actually, I'm playing some Streets of Rage. The controls could be a lot. The controls do feel delayed somewhat, but you have to really push down hard. But other than that, the gameplay is actually what you'd expect and actually extremely responsive to some extent. Like I said, the only thing is that you have to really push down on those D-pad buttons, but I don't know if it's just this... Because this game's a bit, this version's quite old, I don't know. But, it does, the camera isn't doing a very good job of showing off the actual screen. The screen is actually surprisingly well. But, actually, I'm really surprised how well this thing works. Playing some Streets of Rage, boys. Hadouken! Hadouken! But, yeah. I'm going to re-turn it off because if I do, if I um leave that, I'll probably be on it for a while. So, the PXP Slim Station. Wow. Just wow. What can you say about this thing? I mean, as much as this is a lie, this is a lie. Although saying that, the pictures aren't really a lie because there is a Spider-Man game on here. There is Sonic games on here. There is a Dragon Ball game on here. There is football games on here. I don't think there's Crash. Yeah, Crash of the Titans is definitely not on here. But the pictures are mostly lies, but there's not really a Mega Man on here. I don't know why Shaun the Sheep's on there, but it if you ignore the box... You know, 
ignore the box and just look at this for what it is, it's surprisingly well. The only downside to this thing is that you do have to push quite hard on the D-pads to move, but that's not a massive issue. The controls feel really responsive, which is extremely surprising. It's cool that you have the option to plug in the AV cable um, to plug it into a TV, which isn't a bad idea. If you have a little TV like that, um, it probably w would work quite well. Um, and if you had a monitor or something that had an AV slide on it, you probably could. It probably would work right, actually. Um, if I had a little, I, if I had a little SCART um, adapter, I would have plugged the AVs into that and then tried it like that. But um, I don't know where one is. I do have some somewhere, but they're probably back at my house. So, yeah. So the PSP PXP3 Slim Station is this thing worth buying? Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy one of these um, per se, but if you're looking for something where you just get a nice, I don't know if they get all models of the game, all these models have the same games on it. I assume they do. But like I said, the little cartridge it's a random game, so it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me if some of the models had a different cartridge in that had different games on there. But I'm not sure. Um, there's not many reviews of this on YouTube, so that's why I did one to um, show off my um, ink, my um, thoughts on this and opinions on this. Um, it's a good little console, I guess you can call it. We'll call it a console, but it's not really a console. It's a handheld, we'll call it, yeah. A handheld game system. It's a cool little handheld game system. If you just want to play some retro games or retro style games on the on the go, you do get some good ones on there, the Sonics and the um, Streets of Rage and stuff. So the screen is pretty decent. The option to plug into, into a TV is always nice. The only thing I could say is that the AV cable could be a lot better. But I say I'm not sure if you can use any AV cable. I'd, I'd be really surprised um, if, if it didn't work. Um, I don't know why there's these two little buttons on there on the picture because they're not on the system. But I don't know if that's just because it's... I don't know. So... Despite this being a complete knockoff system, it's a decent little retro style system, and it's a good one to have just sitting on your um in, in your collection if you just want to have that sort of weird looking you know thing. And it's it's all right to play. I guess this is something you could probably um uh, you you could probably plug this in um give this to a kid or something and they probably enjoy it so it's a good little thing to have um if you want to give it to a kid but it's also something pretty cool for those people who want to play some retro games i know there's a lot of bad retro games on here like dark castle and bible adventures and you know bible buffet and stuff like that but it's cool that they have included some good games and some bad games on here so it's a pretty fun little system in that sense and um you know, I guess if you wanted to play some retro games for a review video, you could just plug it into a TV. But, um, yeah, the uh, PXP Slim Station. I'm going to give this system a 7.5 out of 10, which is not the highest things. But obviously, like I said, the AV cable is a bit too small. The D-pad um, is not faulty, but you need to push down quite hard. Um, and it is... False advertising again. There's not nine ninety thousand games on here, and there's not nine hundred ninety that many games. I don't even think there's that many games in the world in existence. But um, yeah. Well, maybe if you included all the Flash games and everything, but I don't know. But yeah, a fun little system, a cool little retro style console, handheld with some good retro games on there. A little fun thing. Um, you know, maybe if you need to waste some hours. So the PXP Slim Station, if you wanted to buy one of these, you could probably buy this on eBay or Amazon. I would never pay more than £20 for one of these things. Um, that's about a good price. But you do get about, let's say, 150 games on here. So, you know, not, not a bad little um, 
system. So yeah, if you enjoyed this review and want to see more of these sort of um, reviews, leave a comment below and of course like the video. Um, I, I really want to try and get some more of these retro style um, little knockoff systems and show you off, um, show them off because they're they're sort of fascinating to a, in a weird way. So um, I'm going to leave this video here and of course subscribe if you haven't already and want to see more content. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video and have a nice day and I'll uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.